like and subscribe to this channel for more content. Thank you. You're watching the Oplock story. Sit back and relax. Parkway Gardens is a privately owned low-income apartment complex located in the Woodlawn neighborhood. It was built from 1950 to 1955. Parkway Gardens was once home to Michelle Obama and her family in the early 60s. At the time, Parkway was a quite safe place. Over 2,000 people live in Parkway Gardens. In the 80s, the apartments became a fun place to hang out. This was in the beginning of the crack era. Dealers operated from out the buildings. T. Roy's uncle Tokyo G allegedly ran the projects in the early 90s. Unfortunately he was killed in 1996. The Randolph Towers also known as the Calumet Building was located directly across the street from Parkway. The Calumet Building was a dangerous place. It was ran by well-known BDs who were making a lot of money dealing drugs. Although the projects was dangerous. Things were very organized. The OGs made sure that the women and children were safe. They helped out the tenants in the building. By the late 90s the Calumet building was filled with black disciples. When everyone was forced to move out of the building in 2003. The BDs then flooded the Woodlawn neighborhood. Parkway Garden slowly became BD territory. People from the Calumet building often hung out in Parkway. The two housing projects were like brothers. Parkway always been known for having a lot of females. At the time it was a fun place to hang out. Not only did gang members come there to hang out with females, they made money dealing drugs there as well. Parkway Gardens have always been a goldmine for drug dealers. People such as O.D. Perry and T. Roy both grew up in Parkway Gardens. O.D. Perry jumped off the porch at an early age influenced by his older brothers. Him and his brothers all claimed Buff City. Buff City is a black disciple gang that was allegedly filled with shooters. In the early 2000s, Lil Reese, Fredo Santana and other kids from the Calumet building often came to Parkway to hang out with O.D. B.J., Bostop and Big A all moved to Parkway Gardens in the late 90s and early 2000s. They all grew up in No Love City territory and were GDs. Around this time Parkway was becoming a BD neighborhood. When Wick City was started in the mid-2000s, the three flipped and became BDs. B Dog and Duke both grew up in Parkway as well. The two always been BD. Duke was a few years younger than O.D. Perry, B.J., E. Dog, and Bostop, but he was still one of Wick City's most known members. Him and his older brother Booby were known to be good fighters and good at sports. Duke and T-Roy's younger brother Heck were close friends. Slutty, T-Roy's older brother grew up in Parkway but claimed Ada Park. People such as Patoon, Whitey and Sheroid all grew up in Parkway as well. Sheroid and his older brother C. Murder are both original members of Wick City. C. Murder was known for being one of Wick City's best fighters. Wooski's brother Big Mike was one of C-Murder's closest friends. Big Mike was another top Wick City member. He was a good fighter and didn't mind sliding for Wick City. Wick means wild, insane and crazy. The gang used three eyes to represent the Black Disciple Nation. Parkway Gardens was now known as Wick City. It became a hangout spot for many BD sets. O.D. Perry, B.J., Boss Top, Big A, Duke, Bro Bro and many others all began claiming Wick City. Bro Bro was a member of a mostly Mickey Cobra gang by the name of THF46. J Money moved to Parkway Gardens around 2005 and quickly began claiming Wick City. At the time, Wick City and Jero City were cool with each other. Everything was pretty much cordial until 600 was started in 2009. Before starting 600, Lil Boo and several other older members of 600 claimed Brick City. Brick City was a mainly GD set located on 59th of Calumet. They were at war with Jero City. D Thang and his brothers all lived in Parkway at the time. D Thang wanted to join Brick City, but his brothers didn't think that was a good idea. This is when D Thang and Lil Boo started the BD Gang 600. Wick City and 600 were now allies. Jero City members was no longer welcomed in Parkway. Many don't know that there's been tension between Parkway Gardens and St. Lawrence since the 90s. It all started when T-Roy's uncle Tokyo G was allegedly killed by a Boss City member. 
Boss City was a GT set that was located on 63rd and 64th of St. Lawrence. When EBT and STL was created they basically inherited the beef. Garrow City and EBT came together and went at Wick City in 600. People such as Wee Wee, Chicken, Baby Greg, Cray Cray, so I see and few other EBT members quickly made EBT a well-known set. At first it was all about fighting. The young gang members would meet up and have all-out brawls. Things really became dangerous when D Thang had allegedly killed Hadi from Jero City in 2008. D Thang was only 15 years old at the time. This the main reason 600 was started a year later. Jero City wanted revenge. Hadi was close friends with Dome. Dome was one of Jero City's top shooters. Dome, Twink and several other Jero City members began getting in shootouts with Wick City and 600 members. Parkway began getting shot up nearly every day. Not only was they at war with Jero City and EPT. Their affiliation with 600 and THF had mob and 051 young money coming through shooting as well. OD began making a name for himself in Parkway. At the time he was known to be a good fighter and a ladies' man. He was also one of the first shorties in the neighborhood to play with guns. This was around the time he became Wick City's muscle. OD was more advanced than the other members because he hung out a lot with his older brothers. He knew a lot about guns. Not only did he know how to shoot, he knew how to clean and break guns down as well. He protected the projects. For money OD sold drugs, robbed and gambled. His favorite footwear was Timberland boots. He always dressed nice and he liked wearing caps. One of Wick City's first rivals was a gang by the name of SKD. SKD meaning South King Drive was a GD set located on the 5700 block of South King Drive. Wick City often slid on SKD and even allegedly killed a few members. This is when other gangs started taking Wick City serious. The Kita Washington also known as Kita, was a resident in Parkway Gardens. She lived there with her mother and brothers. Kita was loved in Wick City. She even dated a few of the members. On September 3, 2009, Kita allegedly got the word that her mother was in a brawl while she was hanging out, Kita allegedly ran a few blocks down to Parkway Gardens and had an asthma attack and died. Kita was 19 years old. Wick City members were heartbroken. They created Kita World to honor her. It was a sad time for Wick City. In 2003, members of Newtown moved to Parkway Gardens when their projects was planned to be demolished. Newtown is a BD gang from the low end that has been around for years. They're one of the original BD sets. At first everything was going good living in Parkway Gardens. Most of the Newtown members were dating a female who lived there. In no time, Parkway became a second home to Newtown. They began hanging out in front of the buildings and even dealing drugs. For years Newtown and Wick City got along. The 29-year-old Laverick Marshall also known as Rezi, was a hustler who lived in Parkway Gardens. Him and his brothers claimed Wick City. On the night of August 24, Rezi and his brothers allegedly gets into it with some BDs from Newtown. A shootout take place and Rezi gets struck by a bullet. He was later pronounced dead at Stroger Hospital. Newtown was no longer welcomed in Parkway Gardens. Wick City and Newtown temporarily feuded with each other. Months later Parkway found out that Rezi was actually killed by one of his own guys on an accident. A guy by the name of Ill Will was later charged with a murder. The following month, O.D. Perry allegedly catch a body. 20-year-old Jeremy Marshall also known as Lil 4 was shot and killed on September 22. He was shot near the intersection of 63rd Street and Rhodes Avenue. Two people approached Lil 4 and at least one of them began firing at him. Lil 4 ran but was shot in the back. He continued to run but collapsed shortly after. He was declared dead at Northwestern Memorial Hospital. Lil 4 was STL members Celts and Rose's older brother. He was a GD from a set by the name of New Park. At the age 18 OD began getting arrested mostly for trespassing. He never served any real jail time. 
Other hoods such as Blackgate, Lam Ron, THF, Front Street, 600 and TYMB were all close to Wick City. O.D. Perry allegedly slid with members from all hoods. Not only was he one of the neighborhood top shooters, O.D. had a nice gun collection as well. People in Parkway felt safe around him. When ops came through shooting, O.D. shot back. He was war ready. O.D. became a huge threat to his ops. Wake City was now a dangerous place. The gang were at war with several different hoods. Shootings began taking place almost every day in Parkway. This around the time Chief Keefe began putting out music. Chief Keefe claimed Wick City as well, but he was mainly Front Street. He moved to Parkway Gardens in the early 2000s. Keefe was way younger than O.D. Perry and most of the other Wick City members, so he mostly hung out with the younger guys such as Tiroy, King Von, Jay Hood among others. Keefe and all of the other shorties looked up to O.D. In July of 2011, O.D. Perry appeared in Chief Keefe and Lil Reese's video, and this be. This would be the only video O.D. appeared in. That's one of the reasons this video's a classic. BJ was another loved Wick City member. Some call him the Hood's mascot. To this day, if you're a rapper from O Block, you must have BJ in the video to make it official. Not only was BJ a ladies' man, he was a good ball player as well. Some say he made Wick City a fun place. He wasn't your average pretty boy, BJ didn't mind getting dirty in the streets. As I said earlier BJ, Boss Top, E Dog, Bruh Bruh, Sheroid, Duke and C Murder was some of OD's closest friends. They were all top dogs in Wick City. Boss Top is another Wick City original. He come from a GD family. Although he flipped and became BD, he still had friends from No Love City. When OD Perry was alive Boss Top was very active in the streets. In 2011, he was caught with a gun and had to serve time in jail. E Dog has always been the most mysterious Wick City member. The light voice, complexion, and laid back style made outsiders believe that E Dog was some goofy from Parkway. But that's not true. E Dog made a name for himself at an early age. Even some of the ops had love for E Dog. Before O.D. Perry was killed, a guy by the name of Swiper tried to end the deadly war between Jero City, EBTSTL, and Wick City. Swiper is a BD from Newtown. When Newtown moved into Parkway in 2003, Swiper later followed. He moved in with his girlfriend and became cool with a lot of the Wick City members. People such as Duke, J Money, T Roy, OD and E Dog all hung out with Swiper. Out of everyone, Swiper vibed with E Dog the most. Months after moving out of Parkway, Swiper began missing his buddy E Dog. Swiper was now living on Jero City's territory. One day he decided to hang out with E Dog for the day. He believed bringing E Dog over to Jero City would be the beginning of peace. After informing certain EBT and Jero City members, Swiper went over to Parkway and picked up E Dog. According to Swiper, E Dog hung out on his ops territory all day. Wick City was filled with wild trigger happy gang members. Big A, J Money, Trey Five, and Brubra were all known to be shooters as well. They were 18 and 19 years old at the time. The four had allegedly put in a lot of work for Wick City. On January 12, 2011, 15 year old Shondale Gregory, also known as Tuka, was shot and killed on a bus stop. Many know the Tuka story, but don't know the Christopher Travis story. Christopher Travis, also known as Lil Chris, was a 14 year old who claimed TYMB. On September 14, 2010, Wee Wee and another EBT member shot Lil Chris and two of his friends. Lil Chris died after being shot in the head, and his two friends were rushed to the hospital but was discharged hours later. One of the friends was only 12 years old at the time. Many say that Wee Wee took it too far shooting kids. This the reason Tuka was killed four months later. O.D. Perry began giving the ops a hard time. Some say that he had a lot of them afraid to even come outside. He often shot up other hoods. O.D. made Wick City a feared set. While O.D. was alive, ops didn't invade Parkway. They knew that O.D. wasn't playing around. STL wasn't even relevant to OD. They were looked at as shorties. Jero City, EBT and Mob were Wick City's main ops at the time. OD was no longer living in Parkway but was still there every day. Some say that he was in a relationship around this time. In the summer of 2011, Wick City allegedly did a lot of sliding. The ops were forced to stop coming to the McDonald's that was located directly across from Parkway. 
What many don't understand is BDs are more vicious than GDs. The Black Disciples' background is much darker. In the beginning they were known as the Devil Disciples. They're a spiritual gang that's structured like a religion. O.D. Perry was a true Black Disciple. From 2006 to 2011, O.D. was allegedly involved in over 50 shootings. He helped make the Woodlawn neighborhood a living nightmare. On August 10, 2011, STL, EBT, Mob and Jero City all came together to celebrate Tuka's birthday. He would have turned 16 years old. All that day the young gang members hung out in the neighborhood using drugs and drinking alcohol. FBG Duck shot his freestyle video that day as well. Behind the scenes the young gang members were flashing guns and talking about sliding on their ops. The video was so incriminating that it was deleted off YouTube hours later. At around 11.33 p.m., O.D. Perry was out riding a bicycle on the 6400 block of South King Drive. He was seen by someone he knew, leaving a store by the name of Swisher Suites that was located across the street from Parkway. When O.D. passed Otto's own, multiple witnesses seen a tall man with dreads approach O.D. <laughs> O.D. gets hit in the buttocks and fall off the bike. He gets up but fall back to the ground. The gunmen continue shooting. Another bullet hits O.D. in the neck. Two males were seen by witnesses running away from the scene and hopping in a silver vehicle that was parked near Otto's own. O.D. laid in the street fighting for his life. Many people from Parkway came to tend to him. A lot of Wick City members seen O.D. on the ground bleeding. According to Oblock J. Hood, O.D. last words was they got me bro. Talking to a 17-year-old T-Roy. O.D. Perry was rushed to Stroger Hospital, where he was pronounced dead at 12.18 a.m. He was 20 years old. In O.D. Perry's murder report, Bostrell was identified as the shooter by several witnesses, and K.I. was identified by a couple of witnesses as well. A friend of O.D. Perry who was present that night identified both Bostrell and K.I. as the shooters. In 2016 a member of Jero City who was incarcerated at the time, told detectives that he was told by K.I. and Bostrell both that they were the ones who killed O.D. Perry. So it's safe to say that Bostrell and K.I. were both present that night. But there's only one problem. There was only one shooter. The police only recovered 12 9mm Luger shell casings from the scene. OD was killed by the same gun that Baldy from 600 was killed with weeks earlier. Most likely, Scrap from Mob is the person who made O-Block. He was only 15 years old at the time. Bostrell never claimed OD's body. Only Butta and KI. This is when STL became Wick City's main ops. It was a dark time for Parkway Gardens. O.D. was loved by everyone in the projects, young and old. Members of Wick City began calling Parkway O Block to honor their deceased friend. Many of the black disciples in the neighborhood were heartbroken as well. O.D. had one of the biggest funerals in Chicago. Hundreds of people came to pay their respect. The funeral was so crowded that some people couldn't even get in. Most of the O Block members turned into killers after O.D. was killed. That's the difference between O-Block and STL. O-Block was filled with killers, and most of STL members were only rappers who had dreams of being huge rap stars. They pretty much chased Chief Keef's career for almost a decade. Jealousy played a huge role in the war. Chief Keef was becoming the biggest rapper in Chicago. O-Block became the heart of the city. It was something special to be a part of. Young males and females from the city all wanted to be a part of the movement. More GDs began turning BDs. Things were now different in Chicago. O Block is now the most famous projects in the world. 
People from other states and countries risk their lives to visit Parkway Gardens. It became a part of hip-hop history. Well, that was the Oplock story. Thank you all for watching. See you next time.